Welcome to a video from digitallifestyle.com. In this video, I'm going to check out the Samsung Smart Tag Plus uh, Bluetooth trackers that I'm going to be using with my luggage when I go on holiday. And so I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to box them, pair them up with my phone. And then when I'm on holiday, I'm going to check out and see whether they can be really useful when you're traveling to keep a track of your bags, suitcases, that kind of thing, whether they go missing or if they're close by you. So let me first by starting have a look back at the devices. So here are the tags, I've got uh, two of them, I've got a two pack, this is £53 on Amazon, they've got 120 metre range supposedly, so we'll, we'll, we'll check that out, but this is what the actual tags look like, um, so I'm going to be putting those in the in the suitcases. So the first thing I do is scan the QR code from the box of the device, okay I've done that, and now I press the button on the smart tag. that's connecting that up now smart tag plus so I can give it a name I can't call it smart tag plus that's uh, well, let's let's call it give it a better name let's call it case so it looks like you can do stuff like you press the button on there and turn lights on using Samsung smart things, that's pretty good. But um, I'm not going to have any action for when it's pressed uh, because I'm going to be using this in the... I'm going to put this in my case and then be able to follow it. So let's see how we can locate it now and I'm going to try this properly when I get it in my bag. Now one of the options I've got on here it's notify when left behind so this will get me uh, a notification when the bag and I get separated um, which is probably what you want to do especially if you've got that in say a bag that you're carrying around with you and, you, and someone takes your bag where you get a notification so uh, I'm going to uh, enable that the other thing I can do is share that location with another member a uh, member of the family or something like that but I'm going to leave that for now so that okay so that's done that So the other thing I can do now, if let's say that um, I've lost the tag, or I've lost my bag with the tag in, you know it's around here somewhere, I can ring it, and it'll keep doing that until I find the, the bag. So if it's nearby, at least you've got a chance of finding it, and so um, you've got the audio notification. Of course, it, it knows where... It, the, the map knows where the device is, the, the, these two know where they are, because this is talking to the phone. So when they get separated, so if uh, this bag goes off, I leave my bag here and go off somewhere else. It's not going to keep tracking this device, it just knows where it last was when they got separated. That's the idea with it. So um, that is what I'm going to be testing to see and to see whether Samsung's network with other users using these devices will help ping its location so that's something I'll find out uh, when I'm, I'm using it so that's the basics for now I've got it paired up so the next step for it is to uh, put it in the, my suitcase I'm going to go on holiday I'll get some screenshots of it and uh, and then I'll report back uh, when I finished and I'll let you know how well it works to track your bags while you're traveling so I'm back with uh, my tags and I'm pleased to say I didn't get any lost luggage and the bags weren't lost anyway but these tags did come in handy a few times uh one thing i noticed as well here you can see um capture the screenshot of uh the option to show uh, notify when when found is that other samsung devices help with the assistance of these not my devices other people's ones so i put this in the suitcase and uh, then the suitcase disappeared off down the uh, conveyor belt and I got a notification saying I'd lost contact with it. Um, and then while I was waiting in the airport lounge, I could do search for device and it would say it's been found by another Samsung device. And I could see where it was roughly in the airport. Um, and then when it was actually close by to me, it would then pop up saying it's been found. It's within Bluetooth range. Um, and that was quite handy when I got to the uh, airport where it was um, 
I was waiting for the bags to come. You know, the conveyor belts going round and round and round. I was waiting, waiting, and then all of a sudden, I could see that another Samsung device had spotted it further away from the plane. And then, as it actually the conveyor belt was going round, it appeared in Bluetooth range, and there was the case with these in. So that worked really well. So it's not 100% relying on you connecting directly with your phone. It's allowing you to uh, other Samsung devices notify you when it finds it. So. I found that really handy. So as you can see here, spotted by a nearby Galaxy device. So I found that really useful. So there you go, you got a notification like that saying it had been spotted uh, by a nearby device. And that was in the airport as I was as I was locating the device. And here as you can see, uh, it's getting cl it was getting closer to me as as the bag and the devices were getting closer. So I found that really handy for, for that, for tr keeping a track of them, knowing when your bags are coming and knowing where they were because all the devices, I actually checked my bags in, so I did a nighttime drop off of my bags and I could still track where it was overnight because other Samsung devices kept pinging it and finding it. So you can go into the app and use that to find it. The other thing I did as well as well was I was put it, put what took one out of the case and put it in the wallet while I was on holiday and I didn't lose the wallet either but it was nice to know that that was there so you can see this is how it i did it went through there and then so for 69 pound for two tags i think they're expensive i've used tile in the past and they were cheaper the other thing i found as well the batteries didn't last that long with the ones that i came shit with but i actually had some spare batteries so i put them in before i uh, took it and they've lasted all this stuff 100% so I suspect these had the batteries in for some time and have worn down uh, there's no sort of tag to remove uh, to activate the batteries so that's something to watch out for it takes the CR78 I think little watch battery these kind of batteries it takes so um, you can get them on Amazon or most supermarkets so yeah put your batteries in before or not so they've worked really well uh, what I could probably do now is do something like the change these into a, a smart home uh, device now so I can tag them but I think I will leave more in my wallet uh, so when I'm out and about I'm not going to lose my wallet but very good tip for peace of mind when traveling with your suitcases so thanks for watching this video you can find out more on legislifestyle.com